good morning uh, today we are at the end of vikas tutorial last tutorial today we will discuss how to use the association rule mining algorithms and the feature selection algorithm in beka so to use them just click on this explorer application of beka load the data set see whether nominal first we will see that how to use the association rule mining algorithms in uh, beka to use the association rule mining algorithms in beka first user has to ensure that the data set that that is being loaded in beka it should be a nominal type because the association rule mining algorithm they do not supports the data set which is of numeric type thus what i did here is i have loaded the data set which is of type, type nominal <coughs> this extension dot arff as i told you in the one of the video that it stands for arff its abbreviation is attribute relation file format okay so here i have selected the data set which is of nominal type so to use the association rule mining algorithm go to the associate tab that is the fourth tab in the explorer application and click on this where just to explore the what are the properties of this class associate rule mining okay so the very important property here is the lower bound minimum support for us calculating the support threshold value so the minimum support threshold value for the lower bound is 0.1 whereas <coughs> the minimum support value for the upper bound is 1.0 whereas the metric type is confidence the minimum metric is 0.9 and the number of rules that we want to generate from this algorithm are 10 i'll just make it small i'll make it 5 okay and there are some other properties for associate rule mining algorithms click on okay and then click on start and you can find that the association rule mining algorithm uh, had generated the the association rule mining model is built and it has generated a five rules a five based rules okay so total number of instances that we have supplied is 14 and the attributes for of this 14 instances are five so minimum support this is basically a threshold value of support is 0.25 for three instances the minimum metric that we have set during the uh, properties was 0.9 and the number of cycles performed to generate this five best rules are 15 these are the generated set of large item set size of set of large item set l1 is 12 second set is 26 and the third set is 4 and these are the five best rules that we found using this association rule mining algorithm so which algorithm we have used to generate these rules so we have used a priori algorithm there are other association rule mining algorithm that is filtered associative and epigold but here we have used the a priori association rule mining so let's just we will discuss the first rule that is if outlook is overcast for four instances then play will be s for four instances so this is the first rule that we have generated this is first best rule right and similarly there are remaining four best rule that we we have generated using association rule mining so this is all about the association rule mining in beka now we will go back and now we will discuss how to select the feature the best feature the best attributes from the data set so to select the best attribute from the database we have the feature selection algorithms in beka so these are some feature selection algorithms in beka subset evaluator ratio attribute evaluator gain attribute evaluator one r attribute evaluator principal component analysis and wrapper subset evaluation method so these are some 
feature selection algorithm. So I'll go back, I'll load the different data set. This time I will select the iris data set. To apply the feature selection algorithm, go to the fifth tab of this explorer application that is select attribute. Go to choose and we know that principal component analysis is a widely used algorithm. It is a widely used method for feature selection for attribute selection from the database. Okay. Many times why the feature selection, selection is an important process because in a, uh, the principle of machine learning it, it says that if we select too many features from the data set for processing purpose then the resultant machine learning model may result into a overfitting. Similarly, if we select very small features, very small, very few attributes from the data set, then that will also lead to a underfitting of model. So, to choose a proper appropriate features from the data set, the feature selection algorithms are used. So, here principal component analysis is one of the feature selection algorithm that I am going to select select principal component analysis method. Now it will ask you that uh, when you are using the principal component analysis then ranker search method should be used. So we have used the, uh, we have uh, selected the ranker search method for feature selection. Now click on start and here you can find out the result. So we have total 150 instances for the relation iris. We have total five attributes that is the train data set has five attributes, five features. But after applying the feature selection algorithm that is principal component analysis algorithm, we got only two attributes which are the best appropriate attributes for this data set that is first two attributes. So this the selected attributes, these two attributes, <coughs> that is the first two attributes, sepal length and sepal width, these are the most appropriate attributes for this data. So this result indicates that instead of using five attributes, user may use or user should use only two attributes which are most appropriate and <coughs> important for data processing. So this is all about the principal component uh, analysis method, right? User has the other choice too. User can use the 1R attribute evaluation, wrapper subset evaluation method, any other feature selection <coughs> algorithm. This is all about the association rule mining and the feature selection uh, process in Weka. <coughs> I hope you have understood this. Thank you. Thank you so much for all.